So this is our last workshop with Cynthia Hoven, and we are so thankful for her work uh, and dedication that she showed us for uh, you with me and the world at this time. Cynthia, you can start your session. You hopefully have all opened the PDF that I sent to you and that Miyang distributed. And you'll see this is a fairly long document in which I compiled the most essential information from all of the PDFs that I sent you. And then you can read through these again. What is Eurythmy? What is therapeutic Eurythmy? And most importantly there on page two, I included a description of what I think is essential for doing a personal Eurythmy practice. How to find a quiet space. How, for instance, you should not talk when you should not speak yourself when you're doing the exercises. Someone asked already in the chat box if I could say something about that. When we are doing Eurythmy, we're focusing on streaming our energy through our body, through our limbs. And when we speak, we're engaging another force of the will, the force of the will in the throat, in the larynx. And we're trying to deliberately quiet that so that we can put all of our etheric, our formative forces, our chi energy in our, into our heart from there flowing out into our will. It's very usual, very common for people to want to speak when they're doing the eurythmy and accompany themselves, but it's a wonderful practice to just still that. So again, back to that list of how to make your own practice. Find a quiet place, don't speak, prepare yourself inwardly. It takes only an instant to do so. And of course, learn the exercises with the screen only as long as you need to watch the screen. And as soon as you can, turn it off, try working in silence. And then if you need to go back to the screen and review it, no problem with that. But you're trying to wean yourself from the screen so you can internalize your own inner process. When you're watching the screen, it's like watching the television. You put yourself out. And when everything you do in your rhythm, you're trying to bring yourself back in. So those instructions are on the bottom of page two of the handout. And also a reminder that your rhythm works best for you if you do it every day and not if you just try to do one big session a week. It's conceivably possible if you're a very busy person with a lot of other tasks, but the rhythmical repetition is what really helps you to imprint these formative health bringing onto yourself. Then on page three of the document, you see a list of the exercises that we've been going through here and in an order that makes sense for what you can do for personal practice. If you do only the bare minimum of exercises, I suggest that you focus on the ones that have asterisks. And if you just want to pay attention to the immune support series, do you focus on the last three of all the exercises. But if you want to make a longer practice, you can take five to 30 minutes a day in your practice, then you're welcome to do everything that we've had and bring in some more if you'd like. So with that, we'll begin our movement practice for today. And I invite you to stand up and go to your places. I take a deep breath. I feel myself here in my body. Inwardly, I might say the Eurythmy meditation or use a different process for feeling myself connected to space inside my body. And the Eurythmy meditation reminds us of our different centers. So let me speak this morning. I seek within me creative forces working, creative powers living. 
The heavy weight of earth tells me through the word of my feet. The forming power of the air tells me through the singing of my hands. The strength of heaven's light tells me through the thinking of my head how the great world in the human being speaks, sings, thinks. I breathe, I center myself. And I'll choose today to open with weight bears downwards. I send my intention towards the earth. I step to the right and I step to the left. I create this feeling of the heavy triangle, which I might imagine to be blue. And I feel weight bears downwards. And I encourage people to send energy into the earth so deeply that you're rooted like a mighty tree. And then without losing that in the opposite direction here from below the solar plexus, you send another stream of energy upwards. You can feel that like yellow light. And with this, I encourage you to try to find anti-gravity or etheric forces flowing through you. You are light. You can feel this yellow and you can feel light streams upwards. And now feel where these two triangles overlap in your chest in a diamond that contains your heart and your solar plexus region. Breathe deeply in yourself and feel in the middle I hold the balance and release, and release. Many of these simple exercises are best done three times. Again, to the right, to the left. Weight bears downwards. Light streams upwards. In the middle, I hold the balance. Release and release. A little guidance here, the hands and the feet should be equally wide, not too wide with the hands and the legs. Also be sure that your gaze stays forward and you're not, you're not looking up or down. Again, weight, bears, with your hands equally as wide as your feet, light streams upwards, gaze straight ahead. Feel those polarities. In the middle, I hold the balance. And release. And release. Thank you. And the next exercise, we'll continue on with the threefold walking exercise. We can't emphasize how important this is because we need to penetrate our legs, our task on earth is to be well grounded. It's helpful to remember the Eurythmy meditation while the world speaks and sings and thinks in my head and sings to the heart and speaks through the legs. Feel your three centers, or I like to say, wear a crown of light on your head, gold in your heart, breathing lungs, strength in your legs. And today I'll go a little bit deeply in this again, feeling yourself straight. Carefully lift your foot, heel, arch, and toe. And now you step from behind, next to your other leg, in front, and then toe, arch, heel. And I say this so that you can feel all three parts of the lift, carry, place, 
are equally long. Feel this rotating motion. You don't need to copy my hands. I'm using this to indicate to you what I'm thinking. When I make with every step this little circle, lifting from behind, carrying forward, and place. I'll go back. If you've got room to keep going forwards, that's fine. I prefer to have eight steps forward, but I'm, I would go off the screen then. Going backwards, lift, carry, Legs, lift, carry, legs, ground, rising, moving, grounding, lift, carry, and legs. All right, I'm going to turn sideways once again. I know that my skirt hides much of what you're, you need to see, and we'll do that again. You can start with either foot. You lift, heel, arch, toe, beside, behind, beside, and front, toe, arch, heel. So we have this cycling movement, these little circles. Lift, carry, place, lift, carry. Legs, if you run out of room, it's time to walk backwards. Be sure that you're breathing. And at this slow pace, there is effectively one breath for every step. You're welcome to take more, but this should slow you down. There are great health-bearing benefits in regulating the rhythmic system, regulating your breathing. We don't breathe in our age. So rising, moving, racing. I breathe in here, I breathe out as I place, and if I need an extra breath, I take it. This isn't forced breathing, like you might do in other practices. And relax into this. Now, as I go backwards, before I go back, I feel my back. As we've been practicing, open the back door of your heart. Practice feeling what it's like to move into the space you can't see. Yes. Now, if you pay attention to all that I told you, you might feel there are so many instructions here. And think of all of them. That's okay. Just put your attention into your quiet and balanced heart. Relax into it. And feel head, heart, feet. And as you practice that, you'll discover how your heart center awakens as you move. And this is part of how these great health benefits through threefold walking develop. Now I have on the sheet, you know, I hope you've seen this poem that I brought last week, which I use when I do threefold walking. So I'll speak it to us one time now. It's the prayer of St. Patrick, who, as a great teacher, knew how the awake human being balances nature in him or herself. Let light of the sun, radiance of the moon, splendor of fire, swiftness of wind, backwards for me, depth of the sea. Stability of the earth, firmness of rock, I bear in me. Breathe. And as I said, you can, you can hold your hands in many different positions, but this is foundational work and if you were here in the course several weeks ago, I said, 
feel free to do this for an hour a day. You, this is one of the few exercises that I say, go ahead and practice it outside if you want. Let yourself really be connected to the earth through your feet. Let's move on. And we're going to strengthen our center by moving the great polarities of contraction expansion. Learn to look for these dynamics in everything in life, things that grow, things that fade away, things that come from the stars and live in your heart. We'll begin expanded. Learn to let your energy smoothly flow through your arms into the distances of space. You do that not by overstretching, but by letting your muscles be penetrated to the ends of the fingers and beyond, but without muscle tension. Let the etheric energy flow through you. Now take light from the sun, Lob from the sky, bring it into your heart. There it becomes a seed. And the seed then begins to unfold as you live your life and you give back to the world. And having given back all you can, and let yourself be nourished again in your heart. And from here, you open wide. And bring it in. And open wide. And once you have learned this polarity very smoothly in yourself, you could do it more quickly, but it's wonderful to start at the speed that you need to go so that you are always authentic with your movement. Your rhythm isn't real if it's just mechanical or just moving without soul. Now I'll speak our verse within my heart shines the light of the sun. Within my soul weaves the warmth of the world. I will breathe. The light of the sun. I will feel. The warmth of the world, light of the sun, pour into me. Warmth of the world, drop my arms, flow through me. Breathe. Now we can do this also in moving, and if you're making a longer practice, you can integrate that into it. Perhaps three or four steps going forward and three or four backwards. And your additional challenge here in your experience is that you're with your legs, you're talking to the earth even as you move with your hands. So you're adding two things together. And then there's a third thing as well. And the third thing is that as you move forward, you're feeling what we're practicing in our next exercise. We're practicing the difference between the sense world, moving backwards, the invisible world. So start by smoothly opening your hands. Let them be weightless. This should not be strenuous. Now with perhaps three steps, come forward. One, three. And now before you go back, feel your backspace. And as you walk into that backspace, 
open your arms and feel as if light is shining behind you. It's a little bit like the feeling we have in awe reference. Come forward again, matching the movement of your arms and the movement of your feet. And going back. As I speak this to you, as I give you these suggestions, these are things that you can use in your daily practice to deepen what you're working on, how to coordinate the hands and the legs. Now I shall speak it within my heart. There shines the light of the sun. Within my soul weaves the warmth of the world. I will breathe the light of the sun. I will feel way back now the warmth of the world, light of the sun pour into me, warmth of the world. Now drop your arms for the last step. Feel how light and warmth fill you, warmth of the world flow through me. Now, if any of you are comparing what I just did with the form, the sheet of paper I sent you, you notice that I changed the order slightly. On the paper I had written, you could do the peace exercise before the contraction expansion, and there's a little bit of flexibility in that, so you don't have to worry about what, how, which order you do it in. But let's do now the peace exercise, connecting heaven and earth, right, left, front, back. I'm going to assume that you've all been with me for at least one of these practices before, and you know how to build it up. Imagine the star above your head, the weight below, the earth below your feet. Feel yourself, you are light. Open your arms wide. Your heart through your middle section here, you're connected to the widths of the world. From your front space and your back space, you're connected to the sense world and the sleep world. Out of this cross of balance, we'll now go into the polarities. So we begin by going down into gravity from where the body comes. Really let yourself feel the power of being in a body. You with me affirmed we are here on the earth for a purpose, love it. Now release, back up to the stars. We can say where our idealism comes from, up to the stars from where the spirit comes, and back to hold the balance in the middle where we live in community. Turn all your attention towards, imagine all the things to savor the goodness of the world. The world of the senses draws you in. Feel your backspace before you move backwards. The world of dreams releases us. And finally, put your hands in front of the center of your chest. In my heart, the whole world finds its reflection. Breathe for a moment, marveling at the wonder of your biography that's being built in your heart. Open wide, feel the cross. This time, let your hands move through the etheric space as if it's almost as dense as water. Swoop through this space below you, down into gravity, turn your hands up, 
Feel space as you go through it. Up into levity. Back to the wits. This is the beginning of the training of how the etheric feels. Forwards into the front space. Backwards into the back space. Come back to hold the balance in the middle. And this time with your hands, the hands of a healer. May peace be below me. As you move through space, all the space that you're brushing through, may peace be above me. May peace be all around me. May peace be before me. And may peace be behind me. May peace be within me. You can drop your hands. Another opportunity to feel your three centers and feel this wonder of your presence, your witness, your loving conscious heart in the middle of the world you live in. It becomes quiet and helpful. And now we're at a wonderful place to practice doing the poem that we're working on into the depths of the earth. We'll be, we'll remember that whenever we go forwards, we're moving into the sense world. When we're moving backwards, we move into the dream world. Right and left are this world of the present space we live in. I invite you now to join me with your hands as we begin by making the poem come alive. The sounds that we have when we begin with the sound D. Pressing into gravity, we feel into the depths of the earth. Lead the paths that we tread. To. Now I turn my attention to the space behind me. This next line of poetry has a dominant H in it. While from the heights of heaven, our star shines from afar. Ah. Oh. We continue with this line. We stand on the earth. We are, where's your A? We are chained in matter. You feel this as bondage? And from your heart center, the only place where freedom is possible. Chained in matter, but we are free. Now we have the darkness and light first, where we go between darkness and L, light, and of darkness and light. Are we? Are we? We. And last week, we continued with the spiral and the, the path that we tread leads us on L. So when we're going backwards, do we come once again to the light? And then we're continuing forwards on our spiral, ever descend we anew, and ever return to the light. You, so you remember, this is all built on the foundation of the cross. We will go forwards, back, right, and left. And the last verse that was new last week is this outwinding spiral. And you have it in your paperwork again this week. This outwinding spiral 
Remember, starts to the left forward. The first line of poetry ends when I'm in center front. The second line when I'm in center back. The third line when I'm further out center front. And the last one when I'm really back, feeling myself in the stars. I'd like to right now practice that spiral again. Stand here. Feel your directions. Feel yourself at the center of this cross. I'm going to do this last verse of the poem, which was new last week. Unspiraling, breathing between life and death, physical world, spirit world. So we begin to the left forward, very small and outlining spiral. And the path that we tread leads us on. Little tiny curve. Second line, the curve continues towards the back. Open your back till we come once again to the light. Continuing, go forwards without interruption if we do it alone. Ever descend we anew. You're as far forward as you're going to be, and now as far backwards as you're going to be. And ever return to the light. Good. We'll do that again. One of you asked, why is it so hard to do spirals? It's a whole other study. I hope we'll get to that sometime. It's moving spirals requires that we feel front, back, right, left in quick succession. It's a whole different activity than the straight lines. Okay, we'll begin by going forward, starting very small to the left. D, the path that we tread leads us on. Center front. Here my feet are open, by the way. I don't stop here. Backwards, start with the L going down till we come once again to the light. Continue forwards. Ever descend we anew. I don't stop here, but I might hesitate. And ever return to the light. Where you feel that same refreshment you get with our reverence expansion. All right. Let's put it together. I start between my polarities. I'm going to get born, if you will, forwards into the depths of the earth. Backwards, lead the path that we tread. Now back into the light. One from the heights of heaven. Keep your back open as you come forwards. Star shines from afar. Got that light feeling? Now to the left. We stand on the earth. To the right, we are chained in matter, but we are free. Right in your center place, here you balance everything. Four forwards, we go between darkness, all the way back, and light, and of darkness, and Light are we. Now begins the spiral. And the path that we tread leads us on till we come once again to the light. And ever descend we anew. And ever return to the Light. Be in that feeling of balance between heaven and earth. Excellent. Let's do that one more time before we move on to our final exercises. Into the depths of the earth. We lead the paths that we tread. 
fire from the heights of heaven, our star shines from afar. We stand on the earth. We are chained in matter, but we are free. For we go between darkness and light and of darkness and light are we. And the path that we tread leads us on till we come once again to the light and ever descend we anew and ever return to the light. How do you feel? Good. I'd like to just take a moment before we go on to talk about these last three exercises. I'm going to come in a little bit closer and just speak about what we're doing with these final exercises. So these, these are called the Love A, Our Reverence and Hope Rule, are called soul exercises. That's a whole special little study that we have in the Curative Eurythmy curriculum or exercises that are used to really engage the soul in specific ways. We've already learned a few soul exercises like earnestness or lightness or happiness or laughter. And we've learned these and these exercises including hope and love reference. And by practicing soul exercises, we're really educating our heart and our presence, our possibility of being really present in our feeling life, in our soul, in our astral body. And then by means of the astral body, we're working into health bringing archetypes for ourselves. Usually with patients, we only prescribe one of these three uh, in their series of exercises to work on. The love A is more for people who are being given exercises to work on the rhythmic system, the heart. The A ah reference, more for those who have too much stress in the nerve sense system. And the hope O for those who need help to get down into the metabolism, the lower body, breathing down into the depths. Usually, when a person only does one at a time, 10 days, 10 times in a row for seven weeks every day. However, when the Spanish flu epidemic was ravaging the world, Rudolf Steiner gave a series of five exercises and told people, everyone can do these every day, students, teachers, and so on. I've only had a chance to show you three of them. I haven't been able to get to the last two or the first two in these. Those are foot exercises and they don't actually belong to the normally used can, um, canon or assembly or collection of therapeutic exercises. Not as much as these other ones. Perhaps we can learn them another time and call it yes, no, and um, sympathy, antipathy. We can talk more about them at another time, I hope. But um, I'm going to do these three, which I consider to be the dominant ones. And in this case, we won't be having everyone uh, just focus on one. We'll get, go right through the series of them. At the end of these exercises, I'm going to invite you to proceed really quickly to turn off your screen and rest for five minutes or 10 minutes. And I want you to know that we always do that in a curative session, a therapeutic session. We 
allow the exercises to work back into our etheric and physical organism by just settling down, sitting, or even best lying, falling asleep even, two minute nap, sitting down for five or 10 minutes afterwards and being quiet, going back to your source. That's a very important part of the therapeutic um, regime or practice. And today I'd like you to try to do that if you can. So I'm preparing to say goodbye to you now before I turn off the screen or before, before we turn to these exercises. And so in that, once again, I want to say thank you to Mi Young. And I want to say also, please, if you want to stay in touch with me, email me. That's the only way that, or through the Athena registrant list, you'll find me and find out more of the things that we can do. And you know, from Athena, you'll learn all of the other wonderful things that are coming up in their offerings. So we'd like to have you be with us and continue this wonderful work together with a deep breath. I'm going to step back into my place. We'll do love A 10 times. We'll do our reverence 10 times and we'll do hope O 10 times. Quietly, I'll say goodbye and quietly. You'll try to turn off the screen and settle in. Love A, to strengthen the rhythms, the balance in the heart. Standing still. Ten times. Open your arms wide. Through your arms, let your love extend to the world. Extend. Sometimes you can play with different circles of people. This might be the people you're living with, your family, if you like, or more. But let your love stream towards all those. Give your heart. Now with a strong and clean A, make your boundary. Which contracts back into his The rhythms between systole and diastole open, stream towards ever more people. All these people you can't touch anymore through the quarantines. And A. Just as your blood flows through the capillaries, you to the edge of your skin, but you go beyond, just as your warmth body goes beyond your skin, love. A. Open wide. Love. A. Ever wider circles, the whole continent, love. A. Your love is stronger than a quarantine. Your love can change the world. Love. A. Love. A. Teach your heart healthy balance. Love as much as you can. And ground as much as you can. A. You continue to have the love. Love richly but calmly. Love. A. Rest. Check in with yourself. Calm breathing. Love. 
Now we'll go to the next exercise. So from this calm place, we'll continue to the ah reference exercise. From here, we're going to open to the sense world and then open in reverence to the space behind you. And start here. This is the one that really strengthens the immunity. It's also excellent if to work against insomnia. Excellent if you have too much screen fatigue, computer fatigue. Open forwards with an image of being in the sense world. If you can imagine, what do I love? Flowers, fruit, chocolate, and a hug. The source of everything is in the invisible world. Drop your arms. Wonderful feeling. Feel your back. Don't think about your eyes at all right now. Feel the back. Feel the back. Until a circle of movement arrives in your heels. Now straighten again. You weren't crooked before, but after you get to your heels, come back to your center. Feel your uprightness. Increasingly, you'll notice that you're balanced between front and back. Again, ah, love the world. I seek the archetypes in the spirit. Dropping your hands behind you, imagine all the stars shining into your back, all the way down to your heels. Stand straight. Your back is getting clean, cleared and polished and open. Again. Ah, and with this little H movement, you arrive in reverence, reverence for what is greater than you, and you drop your arms, feeling stars behind you, all the way to your feet. Your light. Ah. Of the world, not too wide, and look up, build your capacity to feel into the directions of space, needing to look in them. Feel your head straight in front of you. And again, ah. Just this wide, with a hop, don't look up, but feel vividly above and behind you. Open all of your etheric sensing in the places you can't see. Take it all the way down to your feet. In wonder and gratitude. Again. Ah. Oh. Your arms like wings from your scapula. Feel what's behind you. Feel more and more stars. All the way to your feet. Remember what we learned in the peace exercise to move through space. Oh, space becomes more dense as you learn how to pay attention to it. Dropping your arms through the rich space of stars. Two more. Ah. Oh. Again. Oh. All the way down to your feet. Yes. 
save that feeling. I love feeling how polished my back is after that. How open it is. Now, 10 repetitions of the hope. Ooh, taking light into the legs. Hope open and wonder. Take that wonder like golden honey and strength down into your feet. What have you done to my feet? Ground yourself. But there was a boy said to me, how did I get so grounded after doing this? Hope. You need to set your arms a little here, not too wide. And they're open to that space that we opened in, in the our reference exercise. They're open to that. Now from there and from above, bring spirit, strength, and light down past your throat, past your heart, beautifully plunging through the diaphragm area into your feet. Oh. And from behind. And as if it's warm, golden honey. Ooh. Create this ooh, a very unusual and intensified ooh. We're putting the backs of the hands together as we lead them down, thereby contracting our space to this narrow, continued tool. Hope into your back space, lifting into the light space. Linger here for the count of one, two. Be sure you don't go up too fast. Now the very last one. Dear friends, as I promised, I'm going to close now. Please don't move. I'm going to walk to my screen. I'm going to wish you all a good little rest of turn off the video and um, wish you so well. I hope that we will be in touch. Stay in touch with me, with Athena.